Okay, this lesson is for Tuesday, November 15th, 2011. Today so you're going to be doing some word problems for work and power. We're going to kind of ease you into these word problems. You know that yesterday we didn't even have word problems. I just gave you the given information and the unknown, what you're looking for, and you had to choose which equation to use. And I hope that that sort of helped with the fact that a lot of you do sometimes struggle identifying what information is important in the word problem. Today I'm going to kind of pair that up and we're going to move into doing some word problems by um, using this link here. You can get to the worksheet that we're about to review. And then you also notice that we have some homework that I'll get to explaining here in just a second. So let's take a look at this first thing, the classwork that you're assigned with. And it does say it's classwork, so it's due today. If you turn it in tomorrow, it will be late a day. Make sure you put your name and date. A lot of people are forgetting that. Up here, you've got your equations. You want to make sure you go back to those to refer to them. You'll see that each of these problems has the word problem at the top. And I initially started with some simple word problems where you have the basic information and they tell you what to look for. So I've given you the given step. I've given you the unknown step, which you're looking for, and I've given you what equation to use. And the reason I've done that for this initial part here as we get into these word problems is so that you can kind of see this is what the problem looks like and this is what I'm trying to find here. And it'll kind of help you work through it initially. So these first five problems are actually like this, where you'll be given the information, the unknown, and what equation to use. And at this point, you just have to substitute these numbers in to the equation where they belong. So you see each of these is like that. They give you the stuff that you need to actually solve it. Down here, you'll notice on number six, it says that you need to write your own problem for work here. Um, and it tells you what it needs to include. So your word problem that you write out here should include a turkey, an Indian, a pilgrim, two bears, and a mean old lady. So make sure that you include all those factors if you want the full credit here. Instead of getting two problems for these, I mean two points for the problem, like you were on the first five, you're actually going to get five points for the for the problem that you write out, and then another five points for these bottom steps actually solving your problem correctly. Okay, so you got number six and seven like that. Number seven is to write a word problem on power, and the equation of is at the top. It's power equals work over time. So make sure that you use an equation for power. You're going to want to write out a word problem for this one that includes three stooges, a Thanksgiving ba ba banquet, two Southwest High School students, one large box, and a, lo a lot of toilet paper. So make sure that you include all these elements into your word problem if you want all five points. Make sure that it's coherent so it actually goes towards where you'd be solving for power. Make sure that you also include all these steps to solve your word problems so that you get the extra five points there. So you're going to end up with a total of 10 points at the top and then another 20 from these two problems. So it's a total of 30 points for this assignment that you're doing today in class. Again, it's due today, so really focus on finishing. Um, the initial problems will be pretty easy, but then writing your own word problem may be a little more difficult because it requires you know, some imagination and then also knowing the, the equations. When you're completed with that, you will probably have a little bit of time in class to actually get to doing these independent practice um, for work and power word problems. So if you click on these, you'll find that they're actually going to be, it's homework, so it's due tomorrow. I have the equations at the top, but there are a total of nine of them. And these are word problems that you have to do on your own and show the guess method for. So I anticipated that you'd have some class time, so I did put more of them. Normally I wouldn't put this many problems on a homework, but because I figured you'd finish the other stuff in class, um, I expect you to start working on this when you finish that. Okay, so that's going to conclude our lesson today. Make sure that you get all this stuff done and have it ready to turn in tomorrow. Again, I encourage you, if you're having trouble with these word problems, to either email me or come in for tutoring. I have some people who are starting to take advantage of that, and they've really seen an improvement in their grades. So make sure that if you do have questions about how to do these word problems, you come in, and we'll go over those together in the morning.